Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. This video is part of the series of upgrading TFS 2010 to TFS 2012 with migration to a new hardware. This video covers part 6, which is configure TFS 2012 update 1. This video has only one section, configure TFS 2012 using the upgrade wizard when upgrading the TFS to using the restored database and encryption key to working with the new feature of TFS 2012. Now we can configure TFS 2012 for upgrade. Let's go to the administration console, team project collection, configure. Choose upgrade, start wizard. Now we will list the available database. This is the restored database. Check this. Use the account when using the TFS services. This is the account created for TFS on the domain controller. Test. Configure the reporting. Okay, let's check and populate URL. Next. List the warehouse. Okay. With the analysis service. Test working reporting service I will put here the reporting service service account which is TFS reports putting the password and test it's okay configure SharePoint and here I will change the URL to point to the old server which is TFS 2010 this is the name of the machine must be configured we can connect to it just it's okay now let's review the configuration next now the configuration readiness check here is just a warning to remind me that it need manually configure the share point for the TFS configure and start to configure the upgrade start so now it's complete successfully I will close this and start going to change the URL I will put here the new URL of the TFS which is TFS 12 up this is the new server now for TFS and this now the server is okay let's configure the shape point by going to the shape point and repair the connection but we need first to go to the old machine which has the shape point to start to grant access for TFS removing this and the grant access for the TFS The new one here put the TFS store the key close this okay get back to the new TFS and start repeating the connection now as we can see here this is the SharePoint machine and the repair completed successfully let's review our upgrade we need to install Team Explorer. Okay, accept install. Launch Team Explorer so we can connect to the, T the new TFS to examine the existing project and have this upgraded. Let's connect to Team Foundation Server. Connect to the new server. We'll find the older project exists. Let's check for the feature. Let's go to the source control. The source control now is upgraded successfully. We have the source code. So let's go to the work items. Query the backlog. We have all the user story. 
let's go to the SharePoint documents click on show project portal enter the username and the password okay we will need to add this to the trusted side so that it was working properly okay then refresh enter the username password it's working now but let's make sure the connection to the reporting has no error refresh now it is working let's review the new feature by going to the team web access enter the username and password we will need also to add this to the trusted side to working properly alt ok security trusted refresh ok now it's working let's review the new tool like task board and the backlog we will find it is not working this is because the process template itself because uh, it is different so we need to upgrade this process template so let's configure the upgrade here it verify if it could be automatically upgraded or not it could so we will configure to the recommended process template now it's successfully completed let's close and refresh the task board now there is no iteration selected so let's select iteration we'll go to the iteration and select all okay, close this and refresh again task board now the task board is working but there is no user story assigned so let's assign existing user story or add user story i will add user story to any iteration let's review the dashboard now the dashboard is available and working with the old project at the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content thank you